So you upgraded in the capture card, but we are back. So let's get that little shimmy dingy thing. This is Michael, Nerd 2005. Let us. Don't worry, Lily. We're almost there. I know we're not. Oh my god! Like, I'm scared. I'm terrified. I know it's all gonna be jump scares, and like, the adrenaline's running. The dick Please. jokes have stopped, I repeat. The dick jokes have stopped. This is when shit gets real. We're gonna be home soon. Just gotta hang on. It's not too late to stop this. It's not too late. I still if have a small do, penis. I promise to kill you quickly. Otherwise, that's not really the best threat. Trail will be legendary. Or I could just hit go and pull I'm going my to be legendary, out. all right. Legendary for taking you down. A world without choice isn't a utopia. A hive mind only works with a queen that controls it. Join us or die. Well, guess what? There's a third choice. And that's fuck you! You're foolish! Kidman, can I marry you? It's a shame to have to lose you like this, kid. Yeah, <laughs> we turned the Wi-Fi off. You thought that I was just flying by the seat of my pants here? I took my chip out three days ago. No matter, you'll die today. One way or another. Yes, <laughs> JD. Nope. Sleepy Elf, if you're still here, which I'm pretty sure you are. Kidman's the waifu of this game. Deal with this shit. You be safe. You did it, Myra. I knew you would. I know better once again, but please, Kidman, don't die. Where she go? Okay, lol. Hit. <laughs> Enter. Uh, I gotta make a joke. I feel like this isn't me, because I've been making jokes this whole series. Oh, it's got super real. When did this game turn into near? Fuck. Oh, shit. 
Yeah. Fuck you, Mr. Sets on the Couch, all richy like. Yeah. Bleed, you motherfucker. Bleed. Fuck you, you rich piece of shit. Take it easy, Sebastian. You're safe now. Lily. Where's Lily? I need your help getting her out. Stand over there. This reminds me so much of Elfin Lead. Ah! Oh, they didn't cut her brain out like they did Ruvik? Part of me is like, that's bullshit. And a larger part of me, because I want this to be adorable, is like, thank you, Jesus. Yes, Lily. It's really me. I... I was having the worst nightmare. Shh. I know, Lily. But you're awake now. The nightmare's over. There's nothing to be scared of anymore. Aww. Really yes, yeah, like... isn't it? Shh. Fuck off, I'm tearing I'm up. still inside there. Just thinking I'm... It really is over. Thanks to Myra. Come on. Let's get the hell out of here. You said 17 chapters. I did not see a 17 come up on my screen. You lied to me, Sleepy Elf. You lied. I could have really just ran that last episode straight to the end. Oh well, fuck it. Wait for it. Are they marveling me with an entire chapter of the game? But cutscenes, we're just gonna like give you another section of the game, Marvel mode. Is that what I'm hearing? Some people's over here, like, wait for it, wait for it. You get a whole new chapter. I'm not okay right now with that thought. happy ending. Is she gonna turn into like a fucking tentacle monster? Because there have been so many hentai references in this game that at this point I wouldn't actually be surprised. Alright, as long as we get me to at least 15 minutes with the credits. So, The Evil Within 2, we're going to go do a little bit of a knee-jerk review while I'm waiting for this, and hoping I talk loud enough that YouTube doesn't fucking flag me for a copyright, because every time I hit end credit songs, they're like, yep, nope, your money is now our money. I enjoyed it. 
I truly did. I did not appreciate it as much as I did the first one, and I really do feel like this followed the uh, dead space way they did it. Like, the first one was like, super cool, super weird, and super new. Because I avoided the first uh, Evil Within, like, well, I, I wasn't gaming at the time. Like, it showed up, and at that point I had an Xbox 360, and all the rest of that shit's been out for a while. And I rented it from Redbox on a weekend before I was a streamer. I just fucking pounded that bitch to the ground in two days. And it fucking just blew my mind. And this came out and I feel like they, they focus so much on what's pop culture right now. Like, oh, we've got a kind of open world. But we've got a uh, fucking... Apparently, I've been told on and off. I'm not sure if it was you, Sleepy Elf, or Daniel, or I don't know who. It was like, oh, there might be multiple endings to it. Which is a Silent Hill thing, and I should be used to that, but I hate it. Because when I want to play a video game, I, I want it to do again. I'm guessing they nixed the multiple endings. I am still really watching chat hard. Yeah, maybe that's Daniel, but he's, he fucking lies a lot. He's over here, he's like, Trunks came back as 45 in fucking Dragon Ball Z, and I was like, mm, no. Do we really need to pull up YouTube and watch cars? No, I can't say that looks that way. Do we really need to take some resources to prove you wrong? So, I'm kind of glad that's not a thing. Like, I appreciate multiple endings to an extent, but I hate them, mostly. But anyway, back to the evil with dead. Uh, the, 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 the evil with dead. <laughs> the evil dead. <laughs> What's the evil within one? Um, like, it was so unique, and it was so just, like, macabre and crazy. And this one, this one was really tame, I think. And... Sleepy, you can feel free to correct me on your version, but I felt like it started out really tame compared to the first one. So I came out like straight up saw level shit, and then turned around just got weird. And this one, I feel like it spent so much time trying to be an open world ish. Every other game that like. It didn't really, to me, start clicking until probably the last, what, I would say maybe six, seven episodes I've done. When we started getting into the weird shit. YouTube is like, uh, stem and stuff and save your daughter and agents in there. And, oh shit, they're all dead. Well, no crap. Yeah, well, and it's like even the, the hardest part for me... So, um, let me, let me click the thing. Not as many zombies, and believe it or not, I've played this on the same difficulty I played the first one on, which, yes, I am casual trash. Um, they were still weaker. Like, I could have beaten this on normal, but the problem... I think I would have had with the difficulty settings was that the mob enemies were like stupid easy to one hit cap and the bosses were stupid hard and were just like ammo sponges and like out of all the bosses it's like they shoved them on at the end of the chapter this really does I feel suffer from the dead space problem we made something creepy we made something scary. Yeah, Theodore really came out of nowhere, and I know they tried to plot twist it, and it kind of felt alright. But, so, uh, what Sleepy Elf said was that she felt that Theodore and the rest of the plot came out of nowhere. And honestly, I feel like the plot didn't even start halfway through the game, and I hate bitching about a game. It was like, there was so much of it like, wander, do this, do this. Remember how you used to play Skyrim? 
Do you remember how you used to like horror games? Let us do uh, a little bit of both, but kind of in a weird ass way. And fucking, we got the evil within it. Uh, the, 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 the evil within dead. The, I keep wanting to say dead, and I don't know why. The evil within two. Ha! Got it. Fourth take for the win. Oh, Greg, I no, that's the wrong one. Sorry, I I I, I gleamed a potential voice actor, and then realized one wrong name, two QA. But it's like it doesn't have the love I felt. It's, <laughs> Stefano really was kind of like a he was a good character and because I live with a photographer he actually freaked me out more than Theodore did Theodore is your generic Resident Evil 4 fucking Silent Hill drink the Kool-Aid level of fucking oh wait Sykes he tried to... You didn't get that side mission? Oh, no, they never explained. DLC. That's all I'm going to say. Potential DLC. Because you know this is how the fucking video game industry works. Unless you're part of the PC master race that plays all this indie shit that knows how to write a game. Sometimes. Like, 12% of the time. Yeah, they just made that a thing. And, like, because I was told that it might be multiple endings, like, I hunted it down, I did the thing... And it's a skippable moment in the game. I could have just been like, Sykes, have fun. I'm sure they're going to fucking bomb out like three or four DLC things. They're like, oh, this is what Sykes happens. And he went to like the unknown layer of stem and fucking flopped his dick around long enough to beat up all the baddies. And now we're here. I'm trying to really blow 30 minutes. But I think the credits are going to help me. So I'm just ranting like a motherfucker. This is like when I used to be on the radio. Ish. Online podcast. But yeah, Sleepy Elf, like, Sykes. Stefano, I thought Stefano was a good character, but they so pigeonholed him as in, you're the token bad guy. Oh, random plot twist. No, you're not. Like, I think they tried a little too hard. Oh, shutting the fuck up. opening to the sequel. I'm waiting for it. There it is. Put the chip back in her hand. But I, won't cry for yesterday. Oh, I love this song. I play DDR to this song. All right, Sleepy, I'm going to throw OBS on and hope my webcam handles after this, and then we can have a little chitty chat. All right, here's the bullshit. Here's the poop, Robin. 16 hours. God damn. Yeah, fuck you and your rookie trophy. Casual scum. Alright, I put the controller down and I forgot where I put it. New game plus. 800 new weapons. 2,000 gel, or 20,000 gel. I can wear his nice clothes. I can dress like the old character. Hey, look. We totally copied this from Resident Evil 4. Already... 
What? Letterboxing is now in a lockable? Okay, guys. Let's try a little harder. <laughs> Oh, I will too, because I am a horror fanatic, and I love this shit, and I've just been through so much of it that it's like, I think we've been here. I think we felt this. Anyway, I'm going to be super happy to do a little OBS streaming, assuming my PC that's eight years old and not upgraded yet at all can handle a webcam and a microphone at the same time. I handled a video game and a microphone at the same time, but not all three. So anyway, those of you watching live, um, obviously, the OBS thing's going to happen. Those of you watching on YouTube, sorry, not putting on YouTube. It's a good game, though. I mean, I still appreciate the fuck out of this game. Anyway, Michael, Nerve2005, signing out.